Slough, South Carolina Gun School, out here at Train and Learn 2020. For, and I'm standing here with my man, Zeke Stout. Um, I think you got a little bit of work to do, don't you, brother? I thought I had a good beard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, sometimes I think I've got a good beard, and I go into some places, and I'm like, <laughs> But we, we got sidetracked, my bad. Zeke Stout. We again. Yeah, we'll get sidetracked in this. Y'all y'all hang in there with us, but this is one awesome dude to be around. Uh, I met you first time 2020 SHOT Show. Um, it was right after my first train and learn. KD's like, you need to go to a SHOT Show. Went to a SHOT Show. He's like, hey, man, are you here? I'm like, I'm here. He's like, I got a buddy of mine doing a pre-release on the show. Here's where we're going to be at. And I walked in, and if you're in the industry, it was the who's who in the industry. You know, I was I was the little schoolgirl meeting Justin Bieber for the first time. I mean, I was just giddy. There was you, there was Chris Chang, Miles Ray, Cole on the wall. I mean, I'm telling you, it was the who's who, Rob Pincus. And just to be able to sit and talk to you guys was just absolutely phenomenal. The only downside is I, I don't remember who the gentleman was you were with there, but y'all, I was standing in between y'all, and I was like, man, this is the first time I've ever felt, felt like the smallest person in the room. <laughs> but it was Hickok's son. Was that him? Yeah, it was John. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, no, no wonder he was like, yeah, no yeah. wonder he was so tall. That was I didn't pay that any attention. Man, I should have picked his brain, too. <laughs> this is a phenomenal guy. He's been all over the place. Uh, you've done Master of Arms, yep. Discovery Channel. Yep. Um, kind of what, how did that come about? What led you into that? So I got into the industry initially with media. Uh, have you ever heard of Talking Lead? Yeah. Talk yeah. So yeah. Marty and I started Talking Lead together. Okay. And we did that for a few years. We grew it to be one of the biggest gun podcasts in the world. We were in 117 countries when I left to go wow. to another Wow, school. I didn't realize that. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, so I went to another school <laughs> with one of our sponsors and just fell in love with working in this industry. And the brotherhood that there is, you know, it's, it's a you scratch my back, I'll scratch your back right. kind of thing. Right, right. And I, I wanted to, to stick with it. Well, then I got <laughs> on LinkedIn, I got a message. And I got it a month and a half late. So check your messages on all <laughs> platforms. So I, this, I'm, guilty, I'm guilty of that sometimes. Yeah, Master of Arms almost didn't happen because it said, hey, would you like to audition to be this gun judge on this competition show? And I'm like, yeah, this show's never going to happen. Sure, whatever. So I did the audition. Then they found out I had a radio background and YouTube and all this other stuff. Why don't you audition to be the host? <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, it's still not going to happen. Sure, I'll audition for it. <laughs> Eight months later, we're filming, and then a few months after that, it was on the air. On no, the it, was a, it, was a, it was a great yeah. show. I, was, I hated to see it go. Yeah. It, was, it was something unique. It was something awesome to see. Because a lot of the other gun stuff, you may not see the shooting. Right. The right. shooting is shooting, you know, like box shot back in the day. Absolutely. You have a lot of the shooting stuff. So to be able to see more of the making and the manufacturing and the inlays and just all the different stuff you can be able to do with guns besides shooting was was really really cool to me and that's why I, when i walked in and i saw you standing there i'm like holy shit it's fucking how fast you're i'm like yeah then i go stand beside him and it's like yeah. but now you've got mgs trade yeah. school yeah um you're partnered with that correct mm -hmm. yep so if you're looking to possibly become a gunsmith this is the way to go. This is the way to go right here. Yeah, we are a uh, distance learning education program. We're fully accredited. Um, so that means that we have been vetted by an organization that vets us out for the Department of Education. And we're an accredited school. And you can take our basic course, which is just kind of like an introduction into gun repair, cleaning, uh, just gun knowledge. It's a really good course. A lot of times people that don't work in this industry, let's right. say they work in, you know, tricycle industry or something right. like that, but they love guns mm -hmm. and they want to get in. That's a good, you know, kind of segue for them to get into. The so not world. necessarily just gunsmith. If you just want to learn how to or be more comfortable working on yeah, your farm, yeah. you can, there you go. So, yeah. and that's the basic class. Okay. Yeah. All right. uh, then we go advanced two or advanced one. Sorry. One comes before two, right? Sometimes it just depends on where you're at. Okay. It's a public age of vacation. I had that too. Yeah, well, we'll talk about number one and number two. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, anyways, uh, our advanced one is the next level. That's that career path. I want to be a gunsmith, but I don't have the knowledge. You get seven hands on projects, uh, you get all the curriculum that you need, all the concepts you need to become a good gunsmith. And then, uh, advanced two is our cream of the crop. 
and that's advanced one plus a premium. Should I pause for shots? <laughs> no, no, you're good. <laughs> we should just every shot just go. Because that's, that's, oh. that's the way it was last year. You know, the shot's going. You know, some people were like, oh, I don't really like the shooting. And the, look, that's what this is event is for, shooting. All right, so that's what you're going to hear in the background. You know, I do, you know, I apologize. I was trying to get some of this knocked out before. But it does help the sound. Hey, it, it, to me, it kind of makes everything. Yep. Because that's, that's what we're out here for. We're out here to become better shooters, better instructors, better businessmen. And that's a great thing. Um, so advanced, oh, advanced two. Advanced yeah. one, so, advanced two. Advanced two. At the end of that, you get all the content and the hands-on projects you get with advanced one. But you get to pick a build out of four, which is a lone wolf striker fire pistol, a uh, traditions muzzle loaders, uh, American long rifle, Kentucky long rifle, whichever one you want to call it, uh, a 1911 from Alpha Foxtrot, or a F1 firearm slash, now they're going to be watchtower firearms, AR-15. You get to choose from those four as your final project. That's yours to keep. And then when you graduate, one of the biggest problems I've seen with trade school <clears throat> is they're not like the auto diesel college. Program. Right. You go to an auto diesel college, you graduate, you've got a pallet of tools to take to any dealership, any body shop, and say, hey, I'm ready to work. Gunsmithing, you don't see that a lot. Uh, so what we've done is we put together tools, whether it's bench grinders, belt sanders, uh, real avid vices and armor's kits. And you get that as a package when you graduate. So oh, you're yeah. kind of ready to go so out to the field and work. All of that for advanced yeah, two is under six thousand oh, yeah, dollars. And like, and I know yeah. he didn't mention this. It's not something where you've got to go there and be at the school to do it. If you're because y'all are based out of Pennsylvania. Uh, Delaware and Pennsylvania. De Delaware and Pennsylvania. Yep. So if you're in California, guess what? It's online. Yep. They're sending everything to you. You have a limit of which build you can choose in California. Right, right. <laughs> uh, maybe, 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 maybe not the best example. Yeah. But you, but, but that's a good, good segue into what I was going to say about the builds. Is that muzzle loader? That's fifty state legal. It's a old school percussion cap muzzle loader. And you get woodwork, you get metal fitting, you get wood fitting, you get stain. You get more gunsmithing stuff doing that project as your final build than putting together an AR-15. I, you were talking yeah. about that the yeah. other day, and I, that was one thing that kind of struck me because I'm sitting there thinking, shot muzzle loaders, building a muzzle loader is, but the woodwork, especially the yeah. woodworking yeah. side of it, that's a great thing. Yeah. Because I. I don't really know too much. I know how to hammer nails into wood. Yeah. I know how to cut wood with a chainsaw, but that's really about it. So, it don't work on this with a chainsaw. <laughs> it, it won't. End like up. I can't. I can't sh uh, carve it and shape yeah. it and something. No, it wouldn't work. Well, <laughs> well then you probably could. Don't know if it'd be very comfortable. Right. To shoot. Right. <laughs> yeah. Y'all get that back and Zeke be like, yeah, Crispin down there with that chainsaw. <laughs> but this is the place. So again, if you don't want to be the gunsmith, you just want in increase your knowledge of working on the gun and understanding more about how the gun works, no. this is where to go. And that's when you, when y'all first, when I first saw this, I was like, this is awesome. Yeah. Because I've looked about gunsmithing stuff and it's very, very few, very, very few. We have, I know where I'm at in South Carolina, there is only one actual college there that has something where you, but again, uh, no, it's uh, Piedmont Technical okay, College. Okay, gotcha. Uh, it's, yep. uh, it's down around the Abbeville area, Greenwood, kind of south yep. of me. So that was the only one I found in, but you've got to be there in class. This is something you can do from home. Um, how many, how long do they have to complete everything? Yeah, up to 18 months to complete it. If you need more time after that, you can pay a small fee and we'll extend it, I think it's 90 days or something like that. Uh, but to your point about the, the correspondence, if, if you're working a job, and this is something you want to change your career to, you can still work your job. You can do this at night, you can do this on the weekends. A lot of the big obstacle that I typically have is how you can your life. Right. We send out hands-on everything. From the very first project you get is refinishing an M1 grand stock. It's all beat up and scratched and everything else. 
you get to finish that in one grand side. Uh, even down to the simplest thing of two, taking two pieces of metal and soldering them together. Right. A lot of people don't. A lot of people see that project and they're like, "Oh, I got this." Next thing you know, two weeks later, like we've tried this like five times. We can't. Okay, did you clean it right? Did you get the angles right? Did you use flux? Did you not use flux? You know, there's so many different things that go into just that little project, but you have to do it. We'll guide you through it if you need it. You can call our student services, the instructors, anybody like that. And then you send those projects back to us. We grade them, and that's how you get your grades outside of the test. There's no essays to write. Uh, it's not a degree program because you don't need a degree. Right, um, right. And it's a I mean, that's, the biggest, that's the biggest point exactly. right there. Because we know that if somebody takes this course, they want to change their career, and it's hard to go, hey, I'm over here, woo, I'm going to dive over here, and I'm making $80,000 a year. Right. doesn't happen. Um, so we want to keep it affordable. We do have payment plans, too, that are interest-free, interest-free payment plans. Um, so that's, that's something that's hard to too. find right there, yep. the, the interest-free portion of it. Yep. That's something that's hard to find, so it, that that's awesome right there. I didn't realize that. That's good. Yep. So, if you again, if you want if you want to grow your business in this industry, this is the event to be at. If you want to learn more about guns, you want to get into gunsmithing, this is the place to go. Right there, it's right yep. there on his shirt. Uh, I know I've posted and uh, reshared some of your stuff on social media. So, are you a good editor in videos? Like adding stuff in? Yeah. Okay, then go to this website right here. There you go. Oh, I can do that. I thought we were going to get a little too tech. It depends on how this deep one. we get into it. Right, right, and right now, here. Now I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you a challenge. Put this website too, <laughs> and then look at that logo right there. Oh yeah. Now, okay. Now you're going to challenge. I'm going to make it work. Okay. Ch challenge accepted on that one. Challenge accepted. So thank you very much for taking time to talk Absolutely, with me. Man. MGS Trade School. This is the place gunsmithing, gun knowledge, just in-depth, where you want to go. And, and always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.